Hello, everyone. Welcome, welcome, welcome to another incredible Wednesday Wisdom. Uh, I have the incredible pleasure to be Tony King. I am the designated managing broker for the largest brokerage in the state of Texas. That's EXP Realty. And I have the pleasure of being joined today by the incredible Miss Stephanie Stone. I have an incredible treat for you all today. Um, she is a CRM, I'm sorry, CRM expert. Um, she is going to be talking about how to leverage CRMs uh, in an effort to generate more leads, right? A lot of folks are using your CRMs wrong. Um, so we want to teach you how to use your CRM the right way, um, not just for the contact retention uh, management side of it, right? Not, not data for data sake, but ultimately the goal in all this is to put money in your pocket. So that's what Stephanie's going to be uh, running through uh, with us today. I'm so excited. Double double icon, super high producer. Um, I cannot wait to see what you have to say uh, and to share with all these incredible agents. Uh, EXP or not, um, we're interested in just hearing how um, you effectively utilize CRMs for uh, helping your business, helping grow your business. Stephanie, introduce yourself. Hi, Tony. Thank you. First off, thanks so much for, for having me. It's an absolute honor to, to be on your show. Um, I'll give you kind of the Cliff Notes version of uh, my real estate story. I got my license back in 2018. I still feel like a total noob in this industry. Um, I got my license, honestly, on a personal dare. I was about to turn 40 and I go, you know what? I've always wanted to have a real estate license. Let's see if I can knock it out before my birthday. I had no intention of going full-time real estate. I had no intention of becoming, you know, that icon level producer. Um, I come with no sales background. I come um, terribly introverted. You know, everything sort of stacked against me, you know, the opposite of what people think a real estate agent is. Um, I built my business off of social media. Um, didn't have a big sphere of influence around me. Some of those traditional things, um, those old school things that I think a lot of agents get told about how to build their business. Um, I was like, I don't have that, don't have that. Well, what's left? So um, having that CRM and having that way to not only generate contacts and build something out of nothing um, and have the ability to stay top of mind, I think was something that I had to learn very quickly and how to figure out kind of on, on my own, a lot of trial and error, a lot of let's break it and put it back together sort of approach um, to how I really learned how to maximize KV Core. And um, I would say that KV Core deserves a lot of credit in terms of being able to get to where I got. I got to Icon by my second year in real estate, repeated it my third year in real estate um, and having a robust system underneath me that gave me my time back that allowed me to stay organized. And like I said, most importantly, stay top of mind and generate leads like I never thought possible. Um, I don't think I'd be able to be where I'm at today if I didn't have that behind me. That's awesome. That's awesome. And we talk about um, only a couple years in the business or a few years, I should say now mm -hmm. in the business, but after a couple years, um, you're able to use some of these skills that you learned very, very quickly and expedite that that learning curve um, with no sales background. Right. Which is I, I love hearing that. Um, that said, um, maybe the, the, the first question is, what are you doing? Right. And, and, you know, you, you're saying that, that you utilize social media a lot mm -hmm. um, in some of your campaigns and that kind of thing. Um, yeah. How? <laughs> yeah. Good, good question. Good question. And, and, and here's the thing too, right? So, so you, you were specifically talking about KV core, which is, which is incredible. Um, and KV core, uh, it, yes, we have a lot of EXP agents here and some EXP, most EXP agents are using that. Um, mm -hmm. but some, some EXP agents don't use it. Right. Um, and additionally, we have lots of folks, um, that, that may be watching this, that, that don't use KV core, they use follow up boss, they use other things. So yeah. a lot of these principles you may be able to apply, um, with whatever, uh, CRM that you're utilizing, or if you're looking for one, um, certainly, you know, our agents get it for free. Um, yeah. but you know, you can pay a lot of money to KV core as well. If you want to, you know, do, do some of the stuff they're doing, it's not an EXP owned thing. Right. So that said, um, and, and you mentioned icon, you've been icon multiple times, your icon, mm -hmm. you know, right out the gate, your second year. Um, can you explain kind of what that means and, and what are we talking in terms of deal count, right? What, what, yeah. what are we talking? Okay. So first year closed 19 deals. I capped my first year again, nice. was not in, in my journey when I started real estate. Um, second year I closed 38 transactions, um, year three. I went to 41. Um, and I tell folks that I, how did I get from 19 to 
38 in a 12 month cycle. And it wasn't that I doubled down my efforts. It was, I doubled down on my follow-up and using the systems that I had at my disposal and making my systems work for me. I know that you mentioned that, um, and again, it doesn't really matter what you use as your system, as long as it has the tools and resources to get you where you want to go. I think there's a lot of agents that are scared um, of the tools. Um, they're intimidated by the tools. And I, I understand, um, you know, when it's anything that's new is always scary for us. Um, I train agents on uh, our CRM pretty regularly. Um, I tell them it is there to do what you want it to do. Those developers are a lot smarter than we are. You cannot break it. They make a lot more money than we probably do knowing how to make sure that an average agent can't break it. Um, and so just being willing to dive in and get rid of the fear of something new, of a new tool, a new system that you know is there to only benefit you, um, I think is that first stepping stone for an agent. So again, I got to Icon by my second year, not because I was paying for a bunch of leads or spending more on my marketing efforts. It was just continuing to use my CRM to build and maintain those relationships. My 38, most of them were folks I started talking to year one. Wow. My 41 were the folks I started talking to year one or maybe year two or the folks that I closed year one that now sent me a referral in my second year, in my third year. So, um, you know, I, I planted seeds and they just started blooming the more that I gave water and sunshine to them. With no sales, prior sales experience. I really um, want to keep harming and hitting on that. <laughs> no right? sales. Yeah. Goodness. Customer service, um, you know, call center experience, um, operations experience. I was that behind the scenes systems operations. And again, terribly introverted. My first sales job, um, I tell you how old I am. I used to work for MCI. Um, selling long distance. Oh, wow. Phone I, I plans, right? Long, I was gone in carrier. 90 days. I made no money on commission. I never made a dime of commission at that wow. job. So not only no sales experience, the time that I was in sales, I was terrible at it. So um, I'm almost also, uh, if I can do it, I think anybody can do it as well. I love, I love that story. I love hearing that. Um, and congratulations on all your, oh, all your success you. first and foremost. Um, and I think it's an inspirational story. Um, and I think you're right. In many cases, agents get intimidated. Um, and I, I like how you, you know, said that, that, um, the CRM is here to work for you. And, and I would add to that. It's not the other way around, right? Uh, you right. don't work for the CRM, the CRM works for you. So, so, you know, a part of what we're going to talk about today is, uh, what are the holes that you can leverage technology to be able to fix in your business specifically related to referrals and automating some of this stuff so that the CRM is truly working for you and you're not working for the CRM and like, Oh my gosh, I got to go in here and I got to update this. And I had a call with this person. I should update it. You know, and it feels like this arduous task instead right. of something that's meant to provide leverage. So um, I'm so glad that you brought that up. Awesome. So let, let's jump right in, Stephanie. Okay. Um, what what do you feel is the common most common misconceptions right around utilizing a CRM uh, effectively or at, at a high level? I think the biggest misconception or the uh, the beginning of that fear that people have is that they either need to know it all or they don't get to know anything. Um, and so when we can take the tools and the systems that exist, uh, that are available to us, and we can take them in these bite-sized chunks, it makes it much easier to digest. It makes it much easier for us to feel that um, we can be in control of the system, like we keep saying, you know, that it, that it works for us, not the other way around. Um, so it doesn't have to be an all or nothing thing. Um, with the, the CRM that we have at EXP with KV Core, there are hundreds of tools, resources, systems, little add-ons that you can include. I probably use maybe 30% of them. So even me being that top producing agent doesn't use everything. You don't have to use everything. Find the things that speak to your business model. Find the things that speak to your business plan and maximize those things. And the stuff that doesn't speak to you, put it behind you. File it away oh. for another day. I love it. And and that speaks again to that leverage and taking a look at um, 
what your business model is and how to utilize utilize that technology. Um, maybe you're focused on, you know, probate. Maybe it's for sale by mm-hmm. owners, but whether it's social media, maybe it's, you know, only, you know, by referral only and just your your network. You know, you've been right. in the area of quite a while. Whatever your lead funnel looks like for your independent business, um, you want to be able to effectively leverage. So take us through maybe a few niches or it sounds like, you know, your, your focus is social media uh, and funneling and that kind of thing. Um, there's some incredible strategies that are out there and I know that that uh, can be utilized through, yeah. for instance, KV Core or any CRM that has that functionality. Um, walk us through that. What, what does that look like? Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, there are some systems that I come to over and over um, for how I generate leads. Um, I generated 1,700 leads in my first 12 months in, in this industry. Um, and there was kind of two challenges that I was up against. One, how do I maximize the time that I had available because I still had my full-time job. I didn't have the luxury of going, okay, we're going to take this leap of faith and gosh, let's hope that we can still pay the mortgage in three months. I could not do that. And a lot of agents coming into this are in that same boat. We don't have the luxury of going from security to, you know, a hope and a prayer. Um, So I had to figure out, well, I'm at the time was working 50, 60 hours a week. So I wasn't willing to work another 50, 60 hours a week in this new real estate job. So what was at my disposal that would make my job easier? So the two things that I use most frequently um, within our system is uh, landing pages, um, which is basically like creating a little single single website that kind of welcomes people to your business. Um, and I use uh, the automated follow-up campaigns. Um, and I, I built the campaigns myself. Um, and I, th- I know we have like a little list of some of the other common things that um, I think people can can dig into, but landing pages or squeeze pages um, and uh, those those automated follow up, which I don't think here is here on the list. Number one, the landing pages was kind of a um, digital billboard for me and my business. Um, I focused a lot on um, marketing different types of properties. Um, I was also that. Uh, First time home buyer whisperer. Um, I, I joke that I was the queen of the hundred and fifty thousand dollar house my first year. There I was the go. queen of, hey, you need down payment assistance. Don't worry, we got you. So being able to market to what I sort of felt was my demographic. Um, my husband and I had just bought our first house two years prior, and I still remembered what that was like. So knowing who my audience or who I felt my audience was, and so I could create something that spoke to them, that was out on at that point, only Facebook was all I was focused on um, to get people responding to my message. Um, and I was able to do it in a way that looked professional. Um, I didn't need to know how to build a website. I didn't need to know how to do coding. It was literally plug and play. And so I could go, hey, you looking for a list of homes, you know, have a big family, need a home for a little money, get your list of homes under 200,000 with at least four bedrooms. I could narrow down my message a little bit and get folks Curious. Get the phone to ring, right? Get the yeah. phone to ring. Get uh, email address and phone numbers um, and give them something for that exchange of their information. You know, for me, a lead is a name, an email address, and a phone number. I need all three in order for me to feel like it's it's valid. Um, so being able to exchange, hey, I've got some information that you're going to find really valuable, and this is what I need. And the landing pages in KV Core were able to create that for me. Well, I would get a lead come in. Great. Well, it was two o'clock on a Tuesday and I was at a meeting with my director of operations. And we know that speed to lead um, is so important in sales, not just real estate sales, but in sales in general. So knowing that our CRM also had a system that when a lead came in, it would send out something with my name on it and I could dictate what they would get. So within five minutes of that lead coming in, they would get a text message from me. Hey, this is Stephanie Stone with eXp Realty. Thanks so much for answering our ad on homes available for no money down. Tell me a little bit more about what you're looking for. And I could still be in my meeting with my day job and know that that person wasn't going to be contacted by another agent more quickly than they would by me. It's automated, right? It's it's the response. It, absolutely. absolutely. Um, and then they would get something maybe two days later, even if they hadn't responded. So it almost felt like my CRM was a little bit of a personal assistant 
like a little bit of that follow-up person um, waiting for them to get a hot one who was responding. And then I could jump in and become organically me, be become that service versus sales sort of person once we figured out, okay, what was the thing that they were going to respond to? What was that hook um, that got them to go, yes, I want to know more, or yes, here's my situation, or yes, how can you help me? Um, so those two things, especially my first six or seven months while I was balancing this dual career thing was invaluable because there's no way that generating 1700 leads in my first year to get my 19 deals, all I would be doing would be on my phone, sending text messages and emails and making phone calls. And I wouldn't have time to focus on the folks who were ready, willing, and able to, to use my services. Love it. Love it. So let's talk, you know, some of the, um, specifics or, you know, some of the technology behind how you're setting this up. Right. So, um, you go to Facebook, I mean, just w walk us through it, right. Yeah. As if you we're, we're, yeah. Uh, yeah, go ahead. Like I'm giving you a to-do list. We can do that. Absolutely. So, so, and, um, and, and part of the reason why we have this podcast and yeah. you know, we discussed this, uh, we want agents to be able to take something and put, put it to action today as, as late Absolutely. as tomorrow, right? We'll, we'll, we'll give you the night to think it over as Jim Rohn said, but uh, at, mm -hmm. at, at worst case scenario, tomorrow morning, something that you can put into place to start adding money, yes. start putting uh, money in your pocket tomorrow. So um, yeah. walk us through what, what, what it looks like from the can do. So, you know, I, and I'm going to speak specifically to KV core. Cause that's sure, the one that I, sure. that I know the, the best. The majority of them so, have uh, you know, parallel services or whatever. Yeah. Got yeah. So, um, so in, in our CRM, um, we have a section um, that is our marketing section. And if you're logging into KV core, we have little options down the left-hand side. And I think it's the third or fourth one. And it has all of our marketing tools in there. So I would go in there. Um, I, th we have a couple options on different types of, uh, marketing collateral that we can create digital marketing collateral. So I like squeeze pages, which I kind of compare to like a welcome mat. Um, if your website is that multiplex movie theater, that, that landing page is like the box office. It has everything that they can go to. It tells them what they're going to see. Um, so what I would do was a number one, I've got to have an audience member in my mind. So Avatar. Take a little bit, figure out who you are speaking to, because it makes it so much easier to know what to say, even in a digital context, when you know who you're talking to. So whether it's investors or those the probate or um, those uh, landlords who may be tired of being landlords or those renters who are tired of being renters or, again, whatever that demographic is that you're speaking to, now you know what to market to them. So we'll use my example of, I loved my first time home buyers, those ones who'd been renting, getting ready to be homeowners. So in our landing pages, we can create in a single page website that has whatever message we want. So whether it's a curated list of properties, um, you know, get your list of homes um, you know, under a certain price point, um, or if we're talking about um, maybe folks who are, who are, um, maybe downsizing, you know, those empty nesters, um, looking for low maintenance home, click here to get your list of homes, get your click here to get your list of fixer uppers in your area. If we're talking to those investors, pick your message, create your billboard. You know, what do you want your headline to say? Um, we have tons of options on how we want to include images in it. And again, it's very click very hard to break, very hard to mess up. You have a limited number of options, but it gives you a lot of flexibility. Um, one of the things that we can ask on there is for an email address and a phone number. So if my requirement for a lead is name, email address, and phone number, I got at least two contact methods that will work. So I select my options. I lay it out the way that I want. I click save. And now I have a website address that I can post on social media, that I can include in email newsletters, that I can text out, whatever I want to use it for. Somebody clicks on that link, it's gonna give them that billboard headline that we created. It's gonna ask them for their email address and phone number to get whatever it is that I'm marketing. When they click that button, they get taken to a portion of my website that has that information they're looking for, especially if we're talking about properties. Um, get your list of homes under 250,000 with at least four bedrooms. Well, great, they're gonna get exactly that, get what I promised. And in exchange, I'm getting that email address and phone number. Well, that leads come in, the system recognizes, oh, hey, this is from that landing page that Stephanie created. And Stephanie told us, the system, to go, when this comes in, 
Three minutes later, I want that text message to go out that maybe introduces myself. Maybe 10 minutes later, an email goes out. And then day three, we send another text with maybe a, a, a slightly different call to action. Got it. Uh, maybe we send an email three days after that with another list of properties and we can continue to build this campaign. So it's clientele information, customer information coming in and then using smart campaigns, which is also in that uh, marketing center in KV Core. And KV Core has hundreds of pre-built campaigns and you can search renters and it'll go, here's all the campaigns that we have for renters, sellers, all the campaigns we have for sellers, for sale by owners, expired, um, whatever it is that you're marketing to, that you can add these people to this automated follow-up. It's going to give you your time back. It's going to make sure that you are maintaining that top of mind status. Um, you can customize them um, if you are feeling confident in doing that. But again, we talk about the best way to learn it is just to jump in, get rid of that fear you know, maybe yeah. fail forwards a little bit. So use some of those pre-built systems and scripts that are in KV Core or your CRM that those developers have built so that you can start getting used to how that system works and making sure that um, those customer base, that, that contact information that's coming in is getting something in return on a regular basis. So that way that, that follow-up is happening without us having to do that grind work of Again, send, sending emails on this day and who's received this and where are they at in their cycle and have they responded? It, it takes that, um, the ability for us to forget to follow up, it takes that away. Um, right. it, it, it just happens on its own, whether we want it to or not. Good. And and that's wonderful. So, and and um, I don't know if it's possible for you to pull up a, a screen share um, yeah. or or be able to share kind of what this looks like on the back end. I'm going to show oh, you yes. all kinds of top top secret stuff in there, but I'll give you a second to, oh, yeah, to, no, no, to no. hide all that. Um, that said, I I um, want to piggyback while you pull that up on mm -hmm. on something that you said, right? And, and you know, I call it an avatar. Um, I've heard, you know, people talking about, you know, niches and these sorts of things. Um, it is so important. And I would get this message to, you know, everyone watching this. Um, it is it is so important to pick a person, right, that you're talking to. Um, general kind of uh, advertising, that's going to be a waste of your money, especially on social media platforms. You want to pick in your mind who's the specific person I'm going after. Is it someone that's tried to sell their home and they failed? And, you know, I used to, I used to create whole stories behind, behind the person, like, you know, his name's John and, you know, John and Susan, you know, got a divorce or whatever. And now they can't sell the house. And, you know, now, you know, she's frustrated because he ran off with the, you know, secretary or whatever, like <laughs> create these whole, you know, and, yes. and know specifically down to detail, you know, he, he's slightly overweight. I mean, just mm -hmm. ideally uh, who you're going after. And it makes it so much more crystal clear. And that person mm -hmm. is out there. Um, and as you yes. market to that person, they begin to say, hey, that's me, right? They get this little red flag and, and they think that, that it's it's them that you're talking to. Now, um, and I think that um, one of the false connotations that a lot of agents have um, that prevents them from marketing that way is they think, oh, well, you know, yeah, if I only market to one person, I'm going to miss out on all these other people. Mm -hmm. um, when it's like, you know, a couple things on that. The first one is um, there are tons of Johns out there, right? So mm -hmm. go after John and, and you know, you, you'll never want again. But you can build many funnels. So you can go after John and you can go after Susie and you can go mm -hmm. after, you know, Yvette and, and Stephanie and so on. So yeah. I would like to know, you know, how many funnels do you keep active at one time? As you talk about going after one avatar um, or mm -hmm. one specific person, I want to be clear that you're not, you, you can go after one person, but you can go after, right. you know, a hundred one people. Yes, <laughs> so yes. If that makes sense. Absolutely. You know, if we use that analogy of, um, you know, that CRM and the marketing being like the box office, well, some people may want to go watch the Avengers and some may, people may want to go watch, you know, whatever the latest horror movie is. So you can have your box office with the different places that you want to send or speaking to what different people are looking to. So yeah, you don't have to limit yourself. Um, Think of those those multiple people, and, and I'm with you. I, I'm who are they? Where do they live? What do they do for a living? How many That's kids um, are they getting ready to leave? What are the ages of the kids? So that way, um, I, I think it also makes that message a little bit clearer, and it also gives us a little bit more confidence because we almost feel like we know who they are before right. we ever meet them in the first place. And, and you um, answer I their mind. 
Yeah, yes, and, and exactly. Into their mind. So what what's the first thing that this person thinks about when they get out of bed in the morning? Right. And what, mm-hmm. what's the last thing this person's thinking about, uh, you know, before they before they lay their head down or, mm-hmm. you know, what's this period person look like at lunch? And, you know, how frustrating is it to be in this apartment? And, you know, all, all those sorts of they, they yeah. really want a first time home and um, they're not sure what to do is another great niche. Um, they're not sure what to do when their lease is up. Right. So so maybe right. your marketing speaks directly to that. Right. Are mm-hmm. you three months away from your lease being up? You know what to do next? How to make sure that, you know, you you're get that down payment or um, down uh, down payment assistance programs and things mm-hmm. like that. So anyways, okay. Yeah. Um, I'll let you do your thing. Okay, cool. I'm going to go ahead and, and pull up um, a little bit of, of KV Core um, yep. and I'll, I'll kind of walk you through uh, first off building, building your first uh, landing page. So let me get my screen share. And... Okay. And then let's see, Tony, if you could let me know if you can see my uh, KV core screen. Yep, we got you. Beautiful, beautiful. So when I was talking about the options over on the left, these are the options, the little that little gray bar that we all have over on the left-hand side. Um, our lead engine, so this is where we go in to generate our leads and all the tools that KV core provides to generate our leads. And like I said, there are hundreds of things um, as we go into our lead engine that we can add to our system. And, and I mean, it, it's, it's wild just how much um, that we are provided, but the first thing, and I think that's why I kind of gleamed onto landing pages. Cause I was like, Oh, what is this thing? It's the first thing there. And it's just kind of stuck with me. Um, so here in our landing page, um, this is where we can come in. And I, the thing that I love about our CRM, and I, again, I don't work for KV core. I don't get a kickback is that it will literally walk you through. It tells you in plain English um, what you need to do. Um, so I'm going to build a little landing page. Um, that's going to feed into my website. So over here on the far left-hand side, we've got a bunch of different options that we can uh, build our web page for, for us to do. But if we're talking lead generation, 99.9% of the time I'm using this option here. Um, we can add in hashtags. And in 2023, we think of hashtags like what we see on Instagram. Really, hashtags are a way for you to organize. So if I was doing a call to action of uh, maybe speaking to renters who are looking to buy, maybe I do hashtag renter. Just so I know that when that comes in, oh, they responded to that page that I built on renters. Or if I'm building something for looking for your country dream home, I may do hashtag acreage. That way, you know, the renters from the folks who are looking for land or the folks who are looking to downsize versus upsize just to keep yourself and your message organized. Um, The submit button text, that's this little orange button down here. I can literally type whatever I want. So maybe... I'm talking renters, stop renting, type and talk. Maybe that's what I want to include. So you have the complete ability to manipulate even that orange button down there just by typing. I tell folks, if you can write an email, if you can create a Google doc, you can manage this. Um, URL after login, if I wanted to send them maybe to a specific part of my website, that's where I can put um, the link to either a page on on my website or maybe a single property. Um, maybe you have a listing that hit the market. Maybe you want to create a single page for that. You can do that in here. Um, I always require a phone number, and we can do that very simply by putting that check mark in that box. Again, when I say that it walks you through step by step, I l- truly, truly mean it. If you just kind of go left to right, up to down, you're going to make sure you hit everything. Um, we love this contemplative woman in the background, but maybe I want to do something different. Well, we have all these different preloaded images. So maybe I want something with a really nice kitchen. I can just like click kitchen and it's going to change it for me. Um, we can also include um, photos from an actual property. So if you're marketing, let's say a single property, you can include the MLS number and it'll load in that first image there. Um, maybe I'm talking to folks who are looking to downsize and um, we can choose that senior couple. So it doesn't have to be necessarily property related. There are tons of preloaded images um, that can speak to our demographic and it's literally dragged down and click. And again, looks very professional, looks like we know how to code a website um, with without having to have that knowledge. That's then wonderful. we can come down here and we can change all of this text. So again, if we're gonna use my example of our renters, so 
uh, ready to own your own home. And then maybe it's um, get your list of homes, uh, maybe a, a price reduced homes, maybe they're budget conscious. Again, if you can if you can type an email, you can do this. You can even have these little four little boxes where you can maybe list out, um, you know, some other little call to actions or um, other little messages. Um, you know, chance to schedule your private showing. Um, we can refer you to uh, lenders in your area. Again, whatever we want to market. Um, if you think of this as like our old school print marketing, if you were creating a flyer, what would you include? Or if you're creating a door hanger, now you don't have to pay for print, you can do this digitally. Um, so you, again, you, you figure out your message based on your demographic, based on who that audience member is. Um, and then when you're done, simply click on save. It's going to go, hey, just know when you save it, we can't go back and edit it. That's fine. You saw how quickly it was to create this. So if I wanted to change it, I just create a new one. And now we have our site ready to go. This is the website address. We just copy, paste it, send it again, text, email. Um, if I'm doing something because I have a new listing, you best believe it's going to go in a weekly email newsletter. I'm going to text it out to my database. I'm going to post it on my personal page, my business page, my Instagram, uh, maybe in some Facebook groups for real estate in my area. They can enter in their email. Uh, And click on the button and it's going to thank them for filling out their information it's going to take them to my website and now they can start browsing around now they can start looking now they can start using this as a replacement for zillow or realtor.com or all those third-party sites that we want to keep our clients away from so that way they're staying insular well in kv core we're going to be able to see them as a, as a lead and I'll show you, uh, let's, so I'm already logged in. So maybe uh, this new lead comes in, starts clicking around on some properties. And they view deals or view details. And they're like, oh, that one's really nice. Has all my information on it. And now they're going in and using my site as a replacement for all of those third-party sites. And they continue to browse. Well, I can also come into KV Core And it should show that I was browsing, uh, not yet, but it'll show you on your dashboard what people are looking at. It'll show you when they're favoriting a property. Um, so now you have this person in your system and not only do you have their contact information because they've entered it on that site, but now you can see what properties are they responding to. You've got a lot of information just by creating that one funnel into your system. Love it. Love it. Wow. So and, thank you, you so saw, much for. Yeah. Five minutes, five minutes. And I had a high value marketing piece that I could use many times over um, on multiple different, different channels. Yes. So, and then, you know, kind of talk us through the next strategy um, that you have here as we, as we talk about some of these highlights. Mm -hmm. So um, what I put together um, when I was talking with Tony about what we wanted to cover was um, kind of the, the six things that you're probably sleeping on. Um, especially in KV core. So landing pages, that, that's that, what we just built. Um, squeeze pages are kind of a, a more, a more condensed version of that. It's more direct version. So again, we're going to come back to my movie theater analogy. It would be like, oh, I already bought my tickets online. I'm just heading right into the theater. So those squeeze pages I like to use for, um, find out what your home is worth. Um, or um, to get them directly to a curated list. Um, if you have your website set up properly, it's still going to prompt them for an email address and phone number. I'm just one of those that wants it from the beginning. So, but that squeeze pages are even quicker to generate. Um, and in that KV core, we saw that the first option was landing page. Well, the one right next to it is squeeze page. So Can you show us in 60 seconds? 
Yes, absolutely. Let's All right, do I'm gonna, it. I'm going to love... start my watch. I'm going to start my watch. Okay, here let's... And I'll, I'll okay. wait for you to do the screen share first because I'm going to be fair. Okay. Once you get it up, <laughs> okay. then you got 60 We're... seconds to show how to. to I feel like I'm on double there. Okay. How easy it is. Here we go. All okay. Right? All right, here we go. So Three, two, one. <laughs> let's do it. So we are here in Lead Engine. We're going to come to Squeeze Page. We're going to start building. Um, let's say I wanted to do something um, for just find out what your home is worth. I can still create that hashtag, maybe hashtag seller. So I know where they came from. And now they get easily enter in your address to find out what your home is worth. Very simple. And this feeds back directly into my CRM. So when they put in their address, I now know that someone at 123 Elm Street wanted to know what their home is worth. And I've got an email address and a phone number to do it. So I think that was even yeah, less than, than 30 that, seconds. That was like 30 seconds. That, that was that was way too <laughs> even easy. Even with that the was, explanation. <laughs> yes, wonderful. So uh it is it is literally that easy, y'all. Um, mm -hmm. I can't tell you how many times as you know, broker, I get agents that come to me and say, Oh, I can't do this, you know, CRM thing, and you know, I'm frustrated, and I get it, I'm sympathetic mm -hmm. to that. Um, but it's it's just a matter of not knowing. Right. Um, it's not mm -hmm. that it's hard. It's just that you just don't know. Right. And I try to be kind yeah. you know, with that. But the reality is it, there's a difference between something being hard and you not knowing how to do something. Um, and it's very yeah. easy, as you can see, in 30 seconds. And so, you know, you've you've set up a, a landing page in about two minutes. You set up mm -hmm. a, a squeeze page in about 30 seconds. Uh, mm -hmm. Goodness gracious. What do we got next? Text lead capture. Text lead capture. So if you've ever driven by a property and you see the little thing text home to, you know, 210-555-1212, um, KV Core provides that as well. So I love using those um, when I have a listing to create a little writer. I can create um, a text response that when they text it, they get, thank you for your interest on the property on Elm Street. It's three bedroom, two bath, 2,400 square feet. Would you like to schedule a time to see it? And again, that message will go out even if I'm here chatting with Tony King here on, on YouTube and I don't miss out on that time. Um, I've also done text captures um, when I do open houses. Um, get your list of homes nearby the open house that we're at. Um, and now I have a phone number because they had to literally text to get that information. Um, and that's very much like a squeeze page. So if you think of the text lead capture as a text version of a squeeze page. They just text that short code and now we're getting phone numbers, which are, we know are the most high value way to reach out to somebody because we can call and we can text them. Got it. You know, the next question, show us how, show, show us. Let's how. Let's do done. it. Okay. Let's are we, yeah. It. We're, we're going to time this as well. <laughs> Let's, all right. Let me turn all on right. this. Let me turn on my screen share one more time. You might as well keep it up. We're, we're going to be back and let's, forth. Let's, let's do it. <laughs> I, yeah. We're just going to go through our list. There we go. Save us some all time right. on the back end. Okay. So, um, it's the third thing here on our lead engine section of KV Core. So we are still here in lead engine. Um, we simply go get started. Again, KV Core lets to tell us exactly what we need to do. We have right here, add new. So let's say I had a um, I had a, a listing on uh, on Elm Street. So maybe I maybe I title it Elm Street. And this is basically what we're going to tell folks to text when uh so text elm street to um and it'll show the the number that they can text it to we can put it in an mls id um oh if i had one at the ready uh one six seven five four three four i think is one nope shoot um we could do that or we'll do the easier one we'll just type a message thank you for your interest in the the home at one one two three elm street would you like to see it in person. Again, we can do hashtag hashtags. So maybe I want to keep all of the text that I get from my listing on Elm Street in one place. So maybe I do hashtag Elm. And then the smart number, most of y'all are going to have just one option down here. I do run a team. So we have a number for the team and we have um, one that is provided by KV Core from when I started my account. They're all going to come into the same place. Um, so when you pull that down, don't be surprised if you don't see three and then you click add. And so now you can see, I use these a lot. Um, yeah. so now we have our Elm street, so we could create a little writer or when we do our open house for that property on Elm street, text Elm to 210-405-4604. 
and then they get that message that we put in that text. So we don't even have to build a second campaign. It's right there in that text capture. Love it. Love it. That's again, super fast, um, super mm -hmm. simple, right? It's just a matter of knowing what to do. And you all mm -hmm. listen, success leaves clues. Um, we're hearing from, you know, someone that went from zero to a hundred, um, literally in, in, you know, snap mm -hmm. of a finger. Um, and she's utilizing this text, um, you know, software and, and, and utilizing mm -hmm. this functionality and using it a lot. Again, I'm a big proponent of success leaves clues. That's a reoccurring theme yeah. on uh, this, this podcast and on the show. Um, it is that do what successful people do uh, and you'll get that success, right? When you get there, then you can start tweaking and, and bring your own uh, mindset, skill set, abilities. You can bring all that to the table, but first just do what they do, right? Really simple. <laughs> Yeah, right. co copy from copy from the best. So, you know, get That's rid of the, the 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 wavy path. Take the laser focus. Right, model success. Right, as Jay Kendrick was. Mm -hmm. You know, my you know, I you, you and I just say copy. Right, <laughs> just copy and yeah. paste. Steal. <laughs> uh, I guess the it, negative connotation is steal. Uh, copies yes. in the middle, and then model success is that is at the you know high end. But it's all the same thing. <laughs> Absolutely. There you go. All right. So number four, property boost. How do we how do, yes. how do we do property boost? What 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 is yeah, that first, so, and then show us how to do? It. Absolutely. So um, property boost. Um, we're still in our lead engine. So you know, I get agents all the time going. Should I pay insert third party company here for the leads? Um, and my answer is always not if you don't have to. Um, and KV Core provides a system called property boost that allows us to boost uh, properties that we have on the market. Um, so when I have a listing or an agent on my team has a listing, this is a great option. So this isn't one of those free things that you build and, and put out there. Um, but again, the folks at KV Core are terribly clever and they know how to create uh, social media ads, primarily Facebook and Instagram ads that generate leads. So we can come into Property Boost. We've got a couple options. Um, this. General property boost is what we're looking at. Um, you can put in the MLS number for the property, or you can uh, type in the address. We just simply come to boost property. Um, of course, I don't have the MLS ID ha handy, but we could put that uh, in there. Let's see. What market are you in? I'm in San Antonio. All right. Should be you have something handy. Right we're gonna we're gonna pause that stopwatch while. <laughs> Let me do there, this part. There we go. There we go. Well, I, you might find one easier, but uh, I usually go to Redfin has the. Um... I love it. I can also come over here to listings. Hey, you want you want to know what listings are on the market and uh, or you want to know uh, like our EXP listings? We have that here in KV Core as well. That could be its its own class um, in its right. of, in and of itself. Do you have something right. handy, so, Tony? Yep, I just dropped one here, or actually here, I can give it to you. Uh, MLS number in Sabor is 165-9594. I did not, um, I probably should have found an EXP listing, but that's, that's okay. okay. <laughs> I just grabbed one, y'all. Don't, don't be mad. There you go. This one I'm on, gonna have on a bunch camp. of EXP agents like, why did you not use my, my why listing? Why did you not right? use my cool? I'm gonna use this one on Canopy Oak because it is an EXP listing. There you um, go. I don't Better. know who it belongs to. I, uh, if go. you're watching, I'm not gonna pay to boost your listing, but if you want to do this, you can follow along. So we have this Thank listing you. on Canopy Oak. We're gonna go use selected listing. And then it's gonna give us some options on what do we wanna market? So are we marketing the listing, an open house? Do we just do a price reduction? And what Property Boost within KV Core is gonna do is gonna go, we're gonna figure out the perfect ad for this property in this market with what you tell us your goal is. So we have different pricing plans that we can select from depending on our budget, depending on, again, what that goal is. If we're doing an open house, maybe we just want to do the one for the open house for 45, um, or we just had a price reduction. Maybe we just wanted to do something for a week. We don't necessarily have to commit to four weeks um, because the house may be off the market by then. But knowing that I could spend 45 or 60 bucks, and, and I've done this before, and this 12 to 16 is actually, at least in my experience, a little bit on the low end in terms of number of leads versus paying that third-party company $1,500 a month 
um, and they may not be any any better and you generally aren't. So if you have yeah. a little bit of money to put behind, or especially you have that listing and you want to show your client um, what you're doing to market to market that property and you've never built a Facebook ad before, great. KV Core will do it for you for 60 bucks for a week. Now you get an extra 20 bucks in your uh, 20 people in your pipeline that you can follow up with, whether it's for that house or to help them find the house that they're truly looking for. So very quick and easy to be able to do high quality, high targeted Facebook ads, social media ads for listings at a very low cost. That's great. That's great. And if you don't have listings, oh my gosh, what if I don't have any listings, right? Because what, what we're sharing here is this is for your mm -hmm. listings. But if you mm -hmm. can get the approval of the listing broker or the listing agent mm -hmm. um, of another listing, uh, what listing yes. agent is going to say no to that? Um, particularly here again right. at EXP. Um, that's the benefit um, of being, and I know everyone here is not EXP, but that said, yeah. um, you know, go go to you know your broker, go, go within your brokerage mm -hmm. and find an agent, a listing agent um, that you want to build a relationship relationship with and, and target that. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, you know, I've gotten very good at knowing what properties sort of catch the eye on social media. So I do that all the time. If I don't have that listing that I think is going to be the eye catcher, That's I'll it. find that listing and go, Hey, do you mind if I spend 45 bucks to market your listing and hopefully bring you a buyer again? What agent's going to say no to that? That's exactly right. But you do have to ask. But, yes, <laughs> uh, but you know, and, and I think as we talk about niching, as we talk about targeting, um, you know, let's say in the, the one I gave you before that I kind of randomly mm -hmm. pulled, that was a condo, but that's a whole nother yeah. niche, right? And and you can say, mm -hmm. um, put your marketing together around condo buyers. There's a specific buyer. Um, you get in your mind what that avatar looks like, you know, trendy downtown type folk um, and say, hey, you know, this is my avatar. This is who I'm going after. I want a property that matches that life style and matches, um, you know, kind of what this area looks like. So you can do it mm -hmm. that way. Farm and ranch, luxury listings we've talked about before. Um, whatever your niche looks like, you can find a um, an agent that has a, a listing in that regard and, and post it. So. Absolutely. Core video. What's core video? Yeah. So this is another little, little paid feature. Um, it's $30 a month. We know that in 2023, um, video is king. Um, we know that if we can get in front of people with our faces versus just black and white text, it's going to go further, especially for someone who built their business in the way that I did, where I was dealing with strangers, people who didn't know me from Adam. Um, so being able to, to go, let me send you a video of myself, um, and having something like core video, which I think came out about a year ago, um, has been invaluable and, and something that I really push my agents to do. So um, we're now in the marketing section. So uh, we've gone from lead engine to marketing, um, and we have a bunch of these different uh, different things that we can add in. Um, I'm going to come in. Let me find where's my core video. Let's see core concierge. Uh, I'm going to go, I'm going to go elsewhere for it. Um, I'm going to come into my, my smart CRM and I'll show you a little bit about how I do video. Um, and then we'll finish up with uh, mass text and mass email because they kind of go hand in hand. So one of my favorite features of KV core, um, and I know other CRMs do this very well as uh, very, uh, very strongly as well is the ability to do mass messaging. So mass text, mass email. So that way you're not having to do it one by one. You can simply filter and go about your day. Let's say for example, and I'll show you how I would do this with video. Let's say I wanted to reach out to every seller that I had in my database. I can simply create a filter. And this will be another one of those things that you can knock out in five minutes instead of five hours. It's going to pull up all of my seller contacts. So these are primarily folks who responded to one of those squeeze pages of find out what your home is worth. Um, again, I run a team. Mine will look a little bit different. So I do have access to see how many points of data my agents have. But I can come in, click the checkbox in the upper left-hand corner right here. And now I can send a mass text. I can send a mass email. Or let's kick it high level and let's send a video message to all of these folks. And I can send video in an email, video or text. I like video text. People are on their phones all the time, much more than their, uh, than checking their email. So I can record a video directly in KV core. I can also select a video I've previously recorded. So I have this evergreen list of videos that I've recorded. Um, 
and I can come back to these over and over. So I can record something brand new as a mass text. And maybe I record, hey, I just wanted to update you. Are you still in the market to get your home sold in 2023? And I could send it to 5, 50, 500, 5,000 people in my database. And now they're getting a video version of me without me having to send it individually 5,000 times. Um, I can record a video and save it. And now anytime somebody requests their home value report, I can send them that video that I recorded a month ago, three months ago, six months ago. So being able to not only have something internally where you can send out video of yourself. And if you're not using video in 2023, you are missing out on that ability to build a relationship stronger than just plain text only. Use your video and you can do it on the fly. Open your recorder, record a video, send it out to everybody in your database. I love doing this around the holidays as well. Just wanted to wish you and yours a Merry Christmas. Let's touch base next week about your real estate needs. Or That's you great. can record it, save it, and then use it when applicable. I love it. I love it from your text and email. Yeah. And, you know, one strategy I want to talk about as well is just stacking, right? And, and stacking some of mm -hmm. this stuff on top of each other. So, um, for instance, when we mentioned the, the Elm Street property um, and, mm -hmm. you know, you have your buyer that is requesting information about Main Street and you send them, hey, thanks for requesting information about Main Street. Um, you know, let me know when you'd like to go take a look. Did you ask specific questions or do you want to go take a look? And how personal yeah. is that? And you're, again, you're going to sweep these folks off their feet. No one else in your market is doing that uh, or very mm -hmm. few at, at the bare minimum. So yeah. because very few people have the ability to utilize the technology, even though it exists. Um, same thing, you know, once once that Main Street property now goes under contract because you have these hashtagged now in your mm -hmm. CRM. And once that Main Street, you know, goes under under contract, you got that alert um, and you can say, oh, my gosh, um, you want to know about Main Street. Sorry, just went under contract. But um, there's a few other great properties that are right in the same area. Mm -hmm. Let me know when uh, when you want me to send you a list or something to that effect. Right. And that same video is going to everyone that asked you about Main Street, which costs you like 40 bucks, you know, and it's, it's yes. insane as you begin to stack some of these strategies on top of each other. So um, I, I would encourage, I mean, is that something that, that you that you do as well with your team? Oh, big time, big time. The more that you can use one system to feed into another um, and use those things, again, it's really about time save and knowing that you have something at the ready. Um, the best advice that I can give folks that I know we're running low on time is, you know, we, we started talking about that fear of jumping into this. Um, Ask your spouse, ask your, your kid, your sister, your best friend from high school that you do brunch with and go, okay, it's going to be weird. I'm going to add you into my system. You're going to get some, some texts from me. Can you just let me know if you got it? Um, so that way you know what it looks like on the other end. And I think that's the biggest thing that you can do to get over the fear of digging into some of these tools is play. It's a great right. opportunity to go in and try things out. Like we said, you're not going to be able to break it. So go in and create a, create a landing page and, and email it to your mom and go, mama, did you get that, that thing that I sent you? Can you put your email and phone number? And now you can see what it looks like when you get a response. Right. Now you know what to anticipate. And they go, hey, mom, I'm going to send you a little text video. Let me know if you got it. Yes, Miha, I got this thing where you said to schedule an appointment to go look at a house. Great. I know the system works. And so you know that if it works for your mom, it's going to work for everybody else in your system as you take your database from 10 to 100 to 1,000 to 10,000, which is what I want for everybody. Um, that's what's going to get you to a point where you're not having to hustle for those leads anymore. And now you're just maintaining those systems that, again, keep you top of mind and get you like I did from, from no sales experience to icon in... 19 months you have an actual business right um yeah. you're, you're you're not waking up self-employed unemployed and I've, I've heard many people oh yeah agents we wake up unemployed every morning i, I i've always hated that that term, that mm -hmm. uh, kind of turn of phrase um you know i just want to object and say not if you're doing it right right <laughs> because right. you know if you're doing it right you're not waking up unemployed you're waking up with a business uh and that mm -hmm. business is is generating leads and generating agents and, and generating um you know these things you own something of value so um, as we wrap right. up um i know we kind of mm -hmm. touched a little bit on mass text but is there any Thing kind of deeper that you want to take there? Um, you know, knowing that, um, again, th that it's going to save you so much time. Um, if you can think in a, in a more, how can I make things more effective? Um, know, know your systems, keep your leads organized. Um, that's another big thing. And I could do a whole class on that. Keep your leads organized. So that way you have that ability to go in and um, send those things that are universal, those things that are going to shake the trees a little bit. Sometimes that's just what our folks need. Um, you know, I, I always tell the story about 
I had one client that I just kept sending texts and emails to and have them on some automated, some manual. Um, and it, they ghosted me for 18 months until they go, Hey, Stephanie, I think we're finally at a place where we can do this. Um, yeah. There's no such thing as a dead lead. Um, and so the more that you can take the grind work out of, uh, I have to follow up with these folks to, I get to follow up with these folks. And it takes you 20 minutes a week, 30 minutes a week. If you're not willing to invest 30 minutes a week into your business, um, you're not going to have a business. So when you can really condense it down and make it work for you and make it very efficient, it makes it that much more fun. Yeah, that's wonderful. Um, last thing that I'll say, I have to kind of put my broker hat on as well mm -hmm. um, and make sure that, you know, if we're talking about mass text and mass calling, things like that, we do want to yes. make sure that, that we're uh, tracking the do not call list and kind of scrubbing against that. Yes, absolutely. Um, as well, um, because we've seen some kind of some 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 things there here recently. So all that yeah. said, do just um, download thank you. the phone book and load it into your KV core and expect to be OK. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so thank you so, so much, Stephanie. Um, I truly, truly appreciate you coming on. How can agents get a hold of you? Yeah, good question. Um, so um, I have a, a kind of coaching division of what I do called the Enterprise enterprisingagent.com. Um, it has a list of all the classes. We do classes on Zoom. We do classes in person here in San Antonio, not just for our EXP agents, but agents regardless of brokerage. So um, if you'd like to attend any of those, we do a morning mastermind Monday through Thursday. So a lot of chances just to get a little re-energy, a little dopamine uh, dose in your real estate business. Um, so the enterprisingagent.com, you can email me, call me, schedule a free coaching session. If you do want to talk out some strategy, I would love to hear from folks. Absolutely. And uh, if you check the description section below this, um, we'll, we'll, we'll include a link there as well. Um, oh, and what, what type of you know services um, is it that, that you provide to those agents when they come besides just kind of masterminding and, and uh, commonality? Um, do you, you have actual classes and coaching and things that you do as well? Or kind of what does that look like? And, and is it only yeah. for EXP agents or, or what does that look like? Yeah, we open it up regardless of brokerage or heck, even if folks are still in the process of getting their test. Uh, my goal is um, to increase that statistic of only 13% of agents make it. Um, I want to make sure that we're getting everybody the best opportunity possible um, with the best perspective and um, approach possible. So I work with agents on things like building an effective schedule. Um, let's figure out where your pain points are and how can we overcome that? How can we make real estate fun for you again? Um, so we do regular classes Thursday mornings at 10 a.m. Um, again, we do those in Zo uh, Zoom and in person simultaneously. Um, we do Thursday evening roundtable. Hey, come with your challenges. What do you want to talk out? Are you in a sticky deal? And you just want some options for your clients. Um, and there's a link to, to book one-on-one -on -one sessions as well. So if you just want to talk privately about here's where I'm at in my business and you know what should I be looking for or what are some ideas, I'm, I'm always down to talk to an agent if it helps to increase that 13% statistic. That's great. That's great. And are you adding to your team right now as well? Or, or is that an opportunity or? Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. Um, so we we do have a team, the Stone team. We are actively looking for, for agents. I started the team because I had more leads than I know what to do with. And that still is a problem, as we've shown, that I, I, I know how to do that pretty well. So if anybody's also looking for that, that team environment, so not just the support as, of a solo agent, but um, I do route out some of these leads to my, to my agents and uh, some of the other systems that we have in place that I've built and I can now pay it forward. Um, please reach out to me if you're interested in looking for uh, a Texas team. And is that on the same website or would you send those folks somewhere else or phone number or what? Um, yeah. So on, it has all my contact information. That's the best website because that's all, always going to funnel back to me. Wonderful. Wonderful. As always, when we wrap up, it's important to remember uh, you're right. All right. Whether, whether you say you can do this and you watch Stephanie doing all this stuff. I mean, she showed you in like five minutes how to do your entire campaign for crying out loud uh, and generate 1,400, 1,900, 1,700, 1700 um, leads. So that said, I would highly encourage you to remember if you look at it and you say, I can do this, you're right. If you look at it and say, I can't do this, you're also right. So you decide which right you want to be and go out and crush it. I've got your back. Stephanie's got your back. She's already showed you how and where to get a hold of her. And as as we uh, know, as you can always know, reach out to me, exp, out to EXP me. agents, EXP you know, hit me on workplace you know, chat, workplace everybody chat. else, everybody hit me on LinkedIn. That's, LinkedIn. LinkedIn. That's the best way. But other than that, um, that. yeah, thank you all. Um, have yeah. a wonderful all Wednesday and great rest of your week. Thanks so much, Stephanie. Thanks so much, Stephanie. Thank you, Tony. Have a great one. Bye. Bye.